So I have this bucket of cons here. They're from the North Saskatchewan River. I've already processed them, but uh, I know there's um, probably some really fine gold in there still. Maybe a couple of grains here and there, but uh, what I wanted to do is roast these cons. pretty simple you take your cons that you've already run I usually collect a little bit more than this and you put it into a cast iron pan or something that can withstand high heat you put it into a fire and let it get to a fairly high temperature and the theory is, is that the bonds that are holding on to the fine grains of gold will break and then you will have more gold to pan out typically this is what you call breaking the sulfides into sulfates Okay, I got all the uh, cons in there now. I got a little bit of excess water because I had to wash out the bucket, but it's okay to just pour off the top amount of water. And now you'll just want to rest this into a uh, hot embers and uh, let it sit for a long time. Okay, so I got my backyard fire going. We're ending the night here and I got these nice hot embers going. So I'm just going to put the frying pan with the cons right in the middle and leave it overnight. Okay, so it's the next day, and we can see what we got. Looks pretty roasted to me. I think there's even a color change, which tells you the process is complete. Okay, so I'm about to transfer it into the pan here. I don't know if I'll pan it or maybe use my uh, Miller table. Pretty fine, so I might get away with the millet table here. Could be microscopic gold in here, so you just want to give it a good brush. Okay, so I set up the Miller table outside. It's not going to be recirculating, but uh, we will see if we can get anything out of these roasted cons. As you can see here, I got them, they're all dry here. I'm gonna wet it down a bit and then slowly put it in to the middle of the table. So I got this Miller table from the fine folks at AGE, Alberta Gold Equipment. Highly recommend it. So the first thing we'll do is make sure we're dead level here.
Well, I'm about halfway through and I can already see some uh, good, good uh, gold accumulation in the Miller table, so that's a good sign. I'll just use the old paintbrush here to bring it back, the gold. Because it always will creep forward. And right into the little vial hole that's right beside here. So just some advice when you're cleaning up the gold and getting it into the vial. Don't try and go after every little speck. You'll literally be here all day doing it. You know, this is just trying to get the, the most of it. I do have a pan at the end of the table so that if I want to, I can redo it or I can pan it out afterwards. For the stubborn pieces, I just use the sucker. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to uh, show you what's in the vial. I cleaned off the table and uh, you can see that's kind of neat how the uh, cons float off the table and how they accumulated in the uh, big pan there. But I'll pan that out real quick and see if there's any remnants of, of gold. I'm sure there's tons of uh, microscopic gold that I couldn't even see. But um, really, are you going to spend all, all your time trying to get that? I think the best way to extract that is to do it chemically, which I do not want to do. Maybe in another video. If you guys want to see stuff like that, let me know in the comments. Okay, so there you have it. There's actually quite a lot of gold in there. How much uh, I got from the actual roasting of the cons, I'm not too sure if it was just some sloppy... Uh, clean up on my part the first time around I think um, I like to think that I extracted some more so there you have it some uh, roasted gold as you were I was sure to put some uh, jet dry in this the uh, this flower gold just loves to fly out of the pan on the uh, surface tension of the water if you can uh, pan North Saskatchewan gold you can pan any gold in the world